Hi everyone, welcome back to Stamp with Anna. And today I have another customer thank you card that I am using a product that my customer ordered um, to make her card with rather than um, as I usually do, I just design a card and then mass produce it for all of my customers. This month I thought that I would um, personalize each thank you card for the customer and it would be a product that they they purchased so that when they got the thank you card, they had an idea already for a jumping off point um, to use their new products with. So this customer, among her things she ordered was the Handsomely Suited Bundle, which, excuse me, January to June catalog. And it has, it's really cute and you can do so much with it. It's looks like it's a man's set. You have ties, you have Father's Day, World's Greatest Dad, bow ties. It looks like a male stamp, but it's not only a male stamp. And I, I will be showing you other projects um, that will show it not being a male stamp. And it has some uh, coordinating dies so you can make like lapels for a suit jacket you can make suspenders you can make buttons you can make shirt collars bow ties regular ties um a little hanky to go in the pocket it's just really really cute so um and it also has some coordinating papers although i won't be using those for this project and you do see it has um some flowers on one of the pieces so you could use that for a woman's um clothing which has the back of this purple this um gray polka dots and i just love this color pattern here and it's all double sided so you also have this gray uh paisley which is nice this nice stripe a pinstripe uh, like a graphic it's really it's really a great um i love this one too uh a great uh, bundle so anyway, um, without further ado, let me show you the card we'll be making. And this is a male's ca male ca male cardigan sweater. Um, it could, because of the color, it's uh, Mary Merlot. It could also be a woman, but I, um, I have a different idea for a woman's one. Now, if you followed me, many years ago, I used to make a lot of um, clothing cards, but it was a lot more difficult. I didn't have the dies, and I had to measure and cut everything. So this um, die set does make it a lot easier. So we're going to replicate this one. We're going to make another male's male um, cardigan with the little sweatshirt, I mean, t-shirt underneath. But instead of making it in Mary Merlot, I'm going to use um, Knight of Navy. And instead of it opening this way, I'm going to have it open as a an easel card. So the base of the card, I'm going to just leave this here so we can see it. I don't know if it's going to be in camera or not. I'll, I'll leave it right there. Hopefully I won't knock it out of you. <laughs> so we have a piece of Knight of Navy and this is four and one quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. So that's our basic A2 card and that is the, um, the card base. Then I have another piece of Knight of Navy and that's going to be the cover here. The, the cardigan itself. Now, I could have done all of my cutting and embossing right on this, but I decided that once you, um, because once you run the paper through the embossing folder, it breaks down its fibers. I didn't want to compromise the, um, the strength of my card base. So I'm going to use an extra piece. So this is the first thing we're going to cut. Now, because we're cutting and embossing, in order to not lose some of the embossing, um, we do our cutting first. So I'm going to take this die from the suit and tie dies, and I'm going to position it right about here. And I'm gonna bring in my big shot. I guess I am gonna to have to move stuff out of, out of the way. I'm gonna bring in my Big Shot, and I have my Big Shot, my magnetic platform, an acrylic plate, and I have another piece of Knight of Navy, and this is cut the same size as my card front is going to be, so it's four and one quarter by five and three quarters. And I'm going to um, 
position this die so that this point is somewhat in the middle. I, and now I'm going to cut it out. And there is the front of my sweater. Now I'm gonna switch plates real quick. I'm gonna bring in my regular platform. And I'm going to place this in the Tasteful Textiles embossing folder just to give it a little bit of dimension and texture. And so, set that up. Now, because this is a 3D embossing folder and this is the old machine, I'm using my blue plate. And there is our nicely embossed cardigan sweater. Now, I think I'll do all my die cutting while I'm here. The next thing I'm going to do is die cut these little straps here. You can cut them out with a piece of paper. I mean, just trim them as you'd like, but um, I'm going to do it a little differently. Bring in my magnetic platform and one plate and I have another scrap piece of um, Knight of Navy and from my dies I'm going to use this die here and I'm going to cut this three times. The only, I'm going to also um, emboss it. The only thing that happens when you emboss it is that you lose your stitching. So I'm going to actually see if I like it without it being embossed. I might make another change. There's one. And you see, I didn't have to cut the whole length of this because um, I'm not using the whole length. One. And the last thing I have to die cut for my sweater <clears throat> from this set is, oh my goodness, I just had an avalanche, is the pocket. And I'm just going to put that right up there. side. Now this die also comes with um, some buttons. And what I like about this is that you can in one swipe make six buttons. See that? And it also has a die that is small rectangle shaped and I've seen this used for um, when you make suspenders but I'm going to use this to make an accent for my pocket because you can see it is the exact same size as my pocket so while I'm die cutting I'm gonna die cut all of those in my piles of die cuts and hopefully I won't lose any of my buttons now I think I'm gonna do my embossing and then when I do 
put the card together after I put my sweater together. I'll bring this machine back up and show you the other dies that I used. So for my embossing, well, let me see. I have, now I have to make my decision. Here I have an embossed sweater and the trim is also embossed and my pocket is embossed. The trim of my pocket is not embossed and it picks up on my crumb cake buttons. Now I have to decide if I wanna go that way again or if I want to just place these like this so you can see the stitching. And I kind of do like it without the, the embossing on it. I think this one I'm gonna make without embossing. But I am going to emboss my pocket. No, you know what? Maybe I won't emboss my pocket. Let's see how this will work, how this will look. Yeah, I'm not gonna emboss anything else. Okay, see that? Quick design change. All right, now let's put our sweater together. I'm gonna put my sweater together and I'm gonna bring in my pierce mat to do that. <clears throat> now, my goal here is to put these two trims along the sides as well as one along the bottom but I don't want to be able to see all of these seams here I want it to look like this one especially is all one seam because that's how a sweater would really be made and I want this to be as realistic as possible so what I'm going to do is just line this up and just manipulate these so that I have a place where they are joined. You see here? So I know that this is going to be right about that size, okay? But I don't want that that low. I need it to come up a little higher. I just, because I don't want my seam to be that low, okay? And there they are, and I'm just going to wiggle them around Wiggle them around so that they are, I have a spot where they meet. See that? And now I'm going to take my liquid glue and I'm going to attach them together. Just that piece right there. Okay. And now I'm going to put liquid glue right on my cardigan. Oops, I went a little sideways there. And I'm going to reposition these. just the way I had them because I know that they're lined up right there. Actually, before I do that, I needed to, needed to add this one here. So I'm gonna add this here. And I want these two pieces right here, these two corners to be right there where there is no, um, trim sticking off, sticking up. So excuse me while I take this apart and after we do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my scissors and you see this tiny little piece here? I'm just gonna trim that off with my scissors on both sides. And like I said, you don't have to go this extra step, but I really do want it to look as realistic as possible. So now I'm going to reattach those. Now see, these are, these are things that happen to all grafters. All right, and I'm gonna press. Now the way I'm gonna strategically place my buttons, I'm not gonna see that, okay? So I'm gonna turn it over and just trim these off using the cardstock as a base, as a guide, I should say. Now when I did this first one in Mary Merlot, because I embossed this, you can't see where my, um, where my, my, my seam is. 
So now I have my three little buttons. I cut six because the die cuts out six, but I only need three. And I'm going to put one right there where that seam is to kind of hide it. going to put a dab of glue right there and one on the bottom. I'm actually, maybe I'm just going to use two buttons on this one. Okay. And that's right there. And it, you can't see my, um, my seam. Great. So I have four more buttons for another sweater. And now I have my pocket, which remember I also didn't emboss because I want it to pick up on the um, non-embossed seam. So I'm going to use some dimensionals. I want to pop this up and I'm going to put one in the corner. Oops. One in the corner. these off oh come on okay and now I'm gonna put this right about here now remember I cut out that little piece of uh, crumb cake and I'm going to attach that right here And I think that picks up nicely on my buttons. Oh, let me scooch my button over. Now, when you're applying your buttons, <clears throat> they are a, the perfect size for a glue dot. You just need a little bit of patience to get that <laughs> glue dot there. So now the front of my cardigan is ready. And now I have to do this part here. So for that, I have a piece of Whisper White. Basic white, I guess, these days. And it is just a tiny bit smaller than the um, base, which was four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, when this went through the embossing folder, it did lose a little bit, a, a, a smidge. So if this was four and a quarter by five and a half. When I put it together, you'd be able to see um, the white stick out from under it. And I didn't want that. So that's why I made it a tiny bit smaller. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the collar here. And for that, I'm gonna bring up my big shot again. Switch my plates. Here's my magnetic plate. one acrylic plate and then I'm going to use the stitched shape dies and these are a set of um, 12 dies you have ovals squares and circles and I'm going to use the two um, middle circles now it doesn't really matter where I do this on this card I have to remember that this up here is going to be my neckline and this is the bottom, and I really only need a half, half of this, but I'm going to die cut a little bigger than I need. Okay, so I'm gonna run this through. And what I'm making there is the trim to my T-shirt. There you go, okay? So I'm gonna put those back because I'll lose those. Now I have a piece of, a scrap piece of um, petal pink. You can use whatever, I always have a hard time trying to find a, a paper that uh, resembles skin tone. I So what I did was I, uh, from the layering circles die, 
die set. I found this size, which is works with this size here. It's, I think, maybe the third one, the third biggest. And I'm going to run that through. Okay. And I do believe now I'm actually done die cutting. Okay. So let me put this away. Here's my sweater. Now I'm going to put this part on the bottom so you can't see it, right? But before I attach it, I wanna make sure I uh, get everything where I want it to be. So this here is going to be my neck and this here is going to be the um, stitch of the, of the uh, T-shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna attach the stitching to my neck. Push this over here. You know, there are days when I make videos and I just feel like they're so awkward and cumbersome and I'm thinking to myself, no one's gonna know what I'm talking about. Okay, so that is nice and attached. And now I'm going to put some adhesive on the back. Okay. And I'm going to dry fit this. I'm not going to attach it entirely. Okay. So I'm going to slip this in. And I want to make sure that my circle is even. It's not twisted. And now, now that's attached. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to attach my cardigan. I'm just going to put some liquid glue all along the edges. And I'm using liquid glue so that I have a little bit of time to position it, to, sh to adjust my positioning in case I need to. Okay. I have no white sticking out. My corner here, my neckline there is um, fairly even. And I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to use my blue as a guide. And I'm just going to cut away. Now I do have a little bit of glue here and I'm on my desk somewhere. I have my, now I do have a little bit of glue here. I got sticky fingers. And with my glue eraser, I'm just gonna run that over it and get my glue off. Now from this point, I'm just going to attach this to the inside of my card. I mean, to the top part of my card. And I'm gonna use my stamp and seal. And I'm gonna bring in my card front and I'm going to, um, Line this up with the top here. Now, if I find that my measurements were off and I have anything sticking out, I can just trim it because it's the same color. You really don't even need to because it is the same color. And I have a piece of white that I'm going to put on the inside and with some Knight of Navy ink, I'm going to stamp the message which says, a happy birthday to you. Straight down, straight up. And now I'm just going to attach that. I feel like I've been out of focus this whole video, so I'm really hoping that when I go edit this, I can see it. And there we go. 
two different versions of the same card. This is Mary Merlot and it's a side fold card and all of the trim and the pocket are embossed. And this is Knight of Navy, it's an easel card and the trim and the pocket were not embossed just for a different look. If you have any questions at all about this project or any of the products I used, certainly contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And if you do not have a demonstrator with whom you work and you'd like a copy of the um, January to June catalog so you can get these this great stamp and... Um, Dice said, certainly let me know and I'll be glad to drop it in the mail to you. And while you're here, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really like it if you give me a thumbs up or if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.